<laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, uh, we've got a few things going on. Uh, first thing is we're gonna be selling my old stock wheels. I sold the stock tires, but I'm out of some uh, of my buddy's old 35s on it, but we're gonna sell them today, except the problem is, because they're up there, my truck's here, I think if I stand in my bed, Ben might be able to help me out and throw them over. Oh, it'll work just fine. We're right here. Oh, we could totally do this. All right. Gently. I mean gently. I was thinking like more of a rolling motion, but just slowly let it down. Hold on. I got, I got a better idea. Hold that. Wow, you guys didn't catch that. I put a stool on the bed to help me out. It's more sketchy because the stool down here is very rickety. Careful, I mean, we're on the last one. Let's not, let's not kill me now. Oh, shit. Okay. All right, well, the 35 inch, the Mickey Thompson uh, Deegans, and uh, tread is just average on them. Nothing special. Nothing special at all. The fact that I finally get to sell them is actually. Uh, Oof, just get him out of my uh, get him out of my hair, so that'll be nice. Here we have a little color match mojito here with the. Uh, I told Ben he should definitely color match his top, but we got some 20 by 10 RBPs on here and the um, and the Ridge Grapplers. It's a nice looking Jeep. That last one did me in there. Yeah, we drew some blood. The truck looks a lot better with the load in the bed. That's for sure. That looks awesome. I honestly, for I honestly forgot how much meat is actually on these tires from, and they've been sitting up there forever. But I forgot how much meat's on them. They're they're good looking tires. I uh, the guy's getting a. Uh, Getting a hell of a deal, that's for sure. Uh, another thing, I think I got a rock or something that came up here and chipped this. So sometime soon, I'm gonna have to sand this outer frame down and get some new paint, repaint this. I know a lot of you are gonna say, paint the mirrors while I'm at it. Ooh, that would be a big step. I love how the green and black like offsets, but green mirrors, ooh. I think painted mirrors though, they only look good folded down and I like driving them up for, uh, and I like driving with them up as you guys know. Um, I made a whole video on that, but ah, I don't know about that. But I'm definitely going to repaint the frame of this grill because uh, I think I, a rock chip or something came up and chipped that. So for the real OGs on the channel, you remember a long time ago I went to the dealership had a recall done on my tailgate uh, because of the latch that would somehow mysteriously open up and dump the load that's in your bed. Uh, now this is probably the first situation where that has actually become useful. Right now, if you know my tailgate opened up and dumped that, uh, I'd be dumping about four tires straight onto uh, 71 here, so that would not be good. But um, it's actually good because I mean the one tire I took off real quick and then the, leaned against the tailgate, so that would have been bad. So I guess if that's one of the warranties that needs to, or the recalls that needs to be taken care of, the steering one, I mean it's kind of important, but they're they're fixed for it right now, kind of sucks. So definitely at least take care of your tailgate one because that now that I think about it, that actually is probably really bad. comes got the money all oh, Matt, Matt gray Range Rover <laughs> Matt gray Range Rover but um guy comes almost walked away without <laughs> he's like well oh, getting ready to leave I'm like wait wait no, no no I need the money but um yeah the uh cup pulls up in the shit brown colored uh Cummins all oh, that color is awesome though ah oh, love that color but we got the money sold the wheels and tires uh, stuff like that so that's awesome and now I don't have to worry about those anymore. And uh, yeah, with the sale of those tires, every single stock part, every single stock nut and bolt, I've, I've got it all. I got it all, you know, back. Um, 
I got it all back up in Cleveland, but I got all the stock parts. With that being said, it's been one year to the day. It's February 28th. I hope this video, I edit it all and get it up tonight. But February 28th is one year of owning this truck. How do I know it's been one year of owning this truck? Not only from mental note, but secondary note. Man, this autofocus on this camera is so messed up. But how do I know it's been one year from owning this truck? Hip hop, he slammed. Classic hard rock. <laughs> My Series XM trial has expired. That means you get a, every new car you buy, most of the time you get a one year free trial of Sirius XM. It's actually, here's the thing, having the service, it's wonderful. It's a nice service, it's nice to have satellite radio, no, no commercials, no stuff. You get a whole bunch of new songs you don't usually hear on the radio radio, but it is 129 times, it's, it's like 300% not worth the money you would have to pay to actually run that service. So your free trial, great time while you had it, but I will never, probably never pay actually pay for Sirius XM they literally offered me two dollars to extend it for three months and I literally said no because that would require me to go through the trouble of giving you a credit card and then in two months calling you to cancel so no it's been a year of having this truck this truck's gone under so so many transformations in that time and right now I'm gonna throw you back to the day I bought it Reality TV show. First start. Diesel preheat process. Wait, can I? I have no idea what lost her. This thing is huge. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. This is so fucking nice. Oh, yeah. Awesome, I love it. I can't wait to drive this thing. Uh, I'll just send a Snapchat. Ram up there. Sorry. No, oh, I don't have the nav. You got fuel? Yeah, we'll take the fuel. We'll take a dip. I gotta fucking find oh, the She lost gear. Wait, how rare was this truck? A manual? With the lime green, that's got to be really rare. I can't, I'm gonna need ten immediately. I can't see. Absolutely, this thing is clear. I was, we forgot to put the mirrors out before we left. No, it's fine because it's just fine. No, it's not that. Man, this thing is like decked out. What's that button up there? Oh, that's the, that's the rear window. Sounds good. I know. I think it used to. Tire pressures. You got everything on this. I'm seriously going to have to get used to all this because I'm so, especially this clutch is so much heavier than my. Oh, I forgot there's a clutch. My Jetta. I don't know what I'd have tried it. Pull up in a bar with a mini on my daddy. Pull up to a skyline. I can drop my deposit. I need to make it better. What do you want to tell him? Dreams do come true? You just got to work for, you know, you got to work for it. And if you work for it, man, you got it all. You can get whatever you want, do what you want. One year. A year ago, in March, I was looking for Rams. I was looking for trucks. And one year later, we made it happen. One year later, oh my god, out I, of the mirror. I know, that's a good, let me get the shot. <laughs> with the green. I know, let me get this, hold on, with the farm country and stuff. That's crazy, ain't it? That is absolutely crazy, how this truck looked the day I bought it. Look at this truck now. This thing looks awesome. Here's a look from the other side, guys. The transformation it went through is incredible. So, if you guys remember, the first thing I did to this truck, swapped the badging. Took the badging off, swapped it from chrome, dealership OEM parts, 
to the black sport badges because I my goal with this truck was to make the sport appearance package on a truck you couldn't and as you could tell, I've pretty much made that happen. Actually, correction, first thing I did was tint the windows 5% to match, threw a 20% over the back window, 5% up front, and then I had a visor on there. Obviously, you guys could tell that's changed. I then swapped the badging from chrome to black. And you come around the rear, I also, obviously I know you guys, thousands and thousands of you have sent me the Bighorn badge that you can find on Amazon and other stuff like that, uh, the black Bighorn badge. In my opinion, it's not OEM. They don't make an OEM black Bighorn badge. That's exactly why I don't or haven't done that. So that's why I haven't, you know, went out and bought that. I didn't want to buy it just for that reason. I know lots and lots of you have sent me that, but that's the reason why I haven't done that. But like I said, we swapped this out and this out. Everything you see here in this video I've done and there's been there's videos on my channel on it if you guys want a more in-depth no process behind it as well uh, but that's there. The next thing I did was the Zone off-road product six and a half inch lift kit. Uh, a lot of people ask me questions about this all the time. This is a Zone six and a half inch lift. I picked the Zone lift over the BDS lift. One, um, price wise for what you're getting and two, I mean it's the same exact parts but I picked the Zone Lift 1 because the BDS offers a drop bracket for the factory arm or a four link, and the four link was pretty expensive. So I went for the upgraded radius arm and the, the Zone 6.5 inch lift. Now, through BDS, you can get Fox shocks with your lift. If you guys watch my um, stretching the lift kit video, these, these shocks up front are actually for the 8 inch um, BDS kit, just in case I ever stacked a leveling kit up here. But I never did. So these are technically eight inch lifted shocks, but that's besides the point. Uh, the rears are the six inch uh, shocks. So that's all, that's, you just need the part numbers for that. After that, I put the BDS dual steering stabilizers on. Awesome addition, that's for sure. For the people who've been watching a long time, you know I lifted this truck without my wheels and tires in. Uh, I was waiting on two of the wheels and I actually got the uh, two of them shipped from Rudy's in North Carolina. These are Soda Off-Road Novocaines. Uh, very dirty right now, it needs a wash. But these are 22 by 10 and a half. Negative 25 millimeter offset with the Toyo Open Country MTs. Uh, these tires have like four or 5,000 miles on it. As you can see, this, the, the factory like rubber that is, was stuck in the mold is still on this. Look at this, zoom in this for you. But yeah, like the factory rubber is still here. So these tires wear extremely, extremely well. They're, 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 they do amazing for what they are and how expensive they are. So I couldn't say enough ni nice things about them. Uh, these are literally at like 90 90% tread. Next thing up, obviously you guys know, the Easy Link tuning. I I honestly love the Easy Link tuning. The fact everything's on your phone, cloud-based, you can get tunes and stuff on the fly uh, from your technician. They send them to you and you can upload them straight there. That you get a notification on your phone that says your tunes are available, you can use them. Love that. I honestly, honestly love that. Uh, some parts fell out of my engine bay, took care of that. And some parts, you know, rattling around, fell off my truck too. Did that at about 3,000 miles, took care of that, you know, noise, had to fix that. But um, can't say, I mean, can't complain about that. Everything's wonderful, rolling, you know, rolling great with that. Went with the Whirly Custom Fab uh, intake here, coated Illusion Purple. Beautiful color, beautiful job. Great, great, great craftsmanship on this. I gotta come in here and clean this, but again, guys, 6.7 lime, free shipping anything on their website, but uh, can't say enough good things about this intake. Sounds great and just runs awesome, so. Um, I guess another thing I did was paint these chrome bumpers. I, I, I color matched this whole truck. So we color matched this, uh, these chrome bumpers. There's a video on me painting them, but um, we color matched these and I can't say enough good things. Paint's holding up just fine, except here on the plastic black grill actually, because I think I had a rock come up, hit me there and it chipped. So I'm gonna be repainting this frame. This grill, the grill insert's fine, but I'm gonna repaint this frame here soon. Painted the sensors uh, through a 20 inch Black Series Rough Country light bar in here. Uh, can't say enough good things about this light bar. Uh, I love the Black Series, it's so clean. These are also Rough Country brackets, but uh, while the bumper was off and I was painting it, uh, I decided to throw that in there. Awesome, very bright, and looks clean, looks awesome. After that, we threw the Rolling Big Power custom grill in here. This is my design. This is a, I think it's on a Ford and a Chevy maybe, but this is a 
custom design I put in the Ram grill. It's awesome. It looks sharp. I love the green. These are not the bolts that came with it. This is Fender Flare hardware uh, I had laying around. I want a little more prominent thing, so I went with that. Uh, custom 6.7 lime Instagram handle nameplate, but the custom grill turned out awesome. Um, sneak peek, we got a lot more goodies coming for here. Stay tuned for that. Uh, uh, they gotta be shipped in, powdered to match, and all that stuff, so those will be coming very soon. I know a lot of you have mixed opinions on the custom grill. I was just rolling home from selling those tires. I'm like, I can't wait to be on the max altitude lift and the 40s. It's just gonna be rolling, just like rolling big. Not like rolling big power, but yeah, like rolling big. It's just gonna be awesome. I can't wait. And the custom grill is a custom touch, so that makes it a little more mine. And I personally, I personally love it just because I designed this myself and all that. To me, it looks awesome. Could not say enough. Uh, good things about switching from the stock rail to that with the custom tuning the south bend clutch was installed man this frame is dirty i gotta wash it 3250 gk uh dual disc clutch yes if you guys didn't know this is a six-speed manual I honestly couldn't say enough good things about it. Love the clutch. Again, South Bend 3250 GK with the Royal Purple Synchro Max in there. Next thing we did, we did install some uh, white LEDs for the license plate and inside. If somebody can give me the bulb size for the rear light in there, please let me know so I can order a, a thing for that. It's still the stock halogen back here. So if somebody's got this bulb size, let me know so I can switch them, please. It kind of drives me nuts, kind of doesn't because I kind of forget about it, but I need to swap that. But those just make the truck look awesome. I love the white LEDs. It looks modern and clean. That's awesome. Next thing we did was nightshade. Uh, a lot of you were like, a lot of you were against it, a lot of you were for it. And honestly, this, and I did buff, I buffed this after I was done. It just makes the truck look a little bit more together. The red lights were just kind of, they just kind of stuck out like a sore thumb. Oh, uh, another thing I did, swap the factory housings from the silverish chrome lights to the black ones. Again, everything on this truck is OEM. I mean, obviously not the grill, not the wheels, tires, or the lift, the shock, stuff like that. <clears throat> But every part that could be OEM is OEM. You can get all these parts straight from the dealership, the headlights, uh, badges, and these other parts I'm about to talk to you about. We did the OEM fender flares. Honestly, what I need to do is wash this whole truck in the spring. I'm probably gonna buff this whole truck again, uh, get it looking clean and nice, and I need to ceramic coat these. Uh, I, I took the vinyl off between the windows, got a ceramic coat that. Honestly, these flares look sharp. And if you saw one, if you saw my last video, they've already saved my truck from multiple rock chips. But they just add depth to the truck, and I like that. If you go look at my old pictures on Instagram, the truck actually looks naked without them. One of my favorite mods to date, the cab lights. It was like a hundred bucks for the cab light kit, and they just look awesome. They look so good. Like right here, guys, look at that. Oh, the truck just looks sharp. And one more thing we did was we came back and tinted the windshield. We stripped the brow off, put new, put a 50% layer of tint on the windshield, and then threw the 5% brow back on top. Uh, we also did delete the steps. That was one of the first things I actually did, but we took the steps off, shipped them to a guy all the way out in California. That's where those went. In my last video, we did just waterproof the seats. Uh, did put a fabric protectant on them. So those will be good for a while. I think that's everything we've done. That's more than likely everything we've done. There's no way it's not. That's pretty much everything I've done in a year to this truck. I know a lot of you are like, oh, what's the build cost, stuff like that. And I, frankly, I hate being like, here's my expensive truck. I put this much money into it. Look at it now. Um, I honestly hate doing that. If that's something you guys are interested in, let me know. But I could tell you how much it would cost you to get your truck looking like this. Let me know. I just want to say thank you guys for watching. We just hit 56,000 subscribers. So we're, glow we're, we're glowing. Yeah, we're glowing, guys. No, we're growing. Your support is awesome. Love you guys. I got lots of stuff coming. I know people say that all the time, but there's a lot of legal stuff on the back end of some of the stuff I'm doing for you guys. And with that, 
I had a mod that was supposed to be here yesterday, but the shipping, I, I gotta talk to the shipper on that. It was an awesome mod. I mean, it's still coming, don't get me wrong, but I just gotta figure out why the tracking didn't update and stuff like that. It was supposed to be here, but it kind of was like, oh, delivery is this day, but it didn't update, so I don't know if they just didn't ship it yet or what, but I've got those mods coming, and I've got some other mods coming, and obviously you guys know, I've got my giant lift kit coming, my giant tires, my giant wheels, all that stuff is coming as well. So stay tuned. I know it's a waiting game right now. It honestly sucks because it's just like, ah. I would like to like get this stuff rolling, but custom built stuff is just, you gotta wait. I wanna thank you guys for watching. I wanna thank you guys for your support and stay tuned here very soon because I got some important announcements coming. Um, Figuring, I'm I'm hopefully gonna zero in and figure out the final details this weekend. We're gonna figure that out, and once that's all straight, uh, you guys are gonna be in for some awesome, awesome news. So thank you guys for watching. Take care. I will see you guys in the next video. Let me know if that's something you guys want to see, and uh, see you guys next time.